Hello everyone, it's Stitch Dreamer and welcome back to my channel and this is my March and April update and I didn't do a um, March update in the beginning of April because I had a, a big hole on my tongue it's not like Tom Peterson, it, it's a wound on the tip of my tongue and that was so painful, you know, it just it's just so pain when I when I move my tongue, you no. Know, uh whenever I eat or, or I drink or I talk, it just pain a lot. <laughs> so I I didn't want to you no know, just talk too much. But uh now it's um yeah, it's here. So I think I have to do it right now. And because I have to do a two months of update, so I have a lot to, to tell and uh, yeah, love to show. No, uh, this month, um, not much happened to me in last two months. Um, the biggest thing that happened is, uh, oh, yeah, my brother joined the rap competition and it's like, um, yeah, it's a reality TV show, you know, like The Voice, but it's for rap. And he and uh, his uh, rap team member, uh, which are um, two of his good friends, yeah, they passed the pre competition and uh, joined the TV show. So we are so excited about him. and. I saw his performance and I just feel, you know, I'm so proud of my brother. I just like them and maybe they have a chance to win, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm looking for this show uh, to be on my TV so I, I can't wait to see his perform. And yeah, hopefully, he, yeah, hopefully he can win the whole show. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so um, I have so many webs to show you. So let's start it. And um, anyway, I don't remember order, so I just show you what I grab. <laughs> and of course, the first one is always the biggest one, you know, along the river. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta. You know, I didn't stitch a lot of this project in the past two months and okay, for people who doesn't, for people who don't know how big this project is, I, I cannot open the whole thing to show you because it's very, very long, like a uh, seven. I don't have the concept of uh, feet or something, but it's like um, 22 meters, like uh, 2,200 centimeters. Yeah, um, so <laughs> yeah, it's very, 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 very long. And uh, for people who don't know, this is a big roll and so heavy. And let me see. <laughs> yeah, it's so big. Very deep position. Okay, so this is my progress <laughs> in past two months. You can see uh, I stitched this part. Mm, let me set the hold. I'm trying to hold it and so that I can show you better. Okay. Yeah, I stitched this part. No, I'm so happy because I finally get to stitch the half stitch part. This project only have two colors uh, of half stitch. Yeah, I stitched this part. 
and you can see oh there are two little houses right above this building and and then I get to the bottom again you can see um, just a little bit yeah I start stitching the the ground on the least people so I I will get to those people very soon and yeah I got a total but again this is an 11 count so I stitch with three strands for four stitch and half stitch and uh, two strands for back stitch yeah so this is a uh, along the river direction festival And next one. No, <laughs> I already get tired to show you that project. Okay, then next one. I worked on the cottage kitchen, which I just um, uploaded a new Stitch With Me video about this. Yeah, the beautiful picture. This is the art by Kim Jacobs. Yeah. <laughs> and and last time I finished this page, and actually I start stitching the next page a little bit. But I want to go back to the top to finish this page. And the first time I um, the first time I show you this project, you no, know, the stitch with me video of part one of this, I was here. I stitched here, and then I jumped to this page so I want to finish the page and then I'm not sure I'm I may just um I may go to uh, finish the, the top and then stitch it here now when you stitch it you will feel uh it's pixelated but if you stand back and look at the whole thing, it's just so pretty. Okay. And the next things I worked on is oh yeah, I forgot to say this one is um fourteen count. Yeah, fourteen count. Ada, Ada, <laughs> 14 count Ada. Of course, I stitch it with two strands. And this full coverage, just four stitches and nothing else. And so, it's this one. This is uh, the artist at Artist Garden at Givney by Monet. And this one is actually my, um, how to say, my very first full coverage project. And I work on this page. You can see, oh, this is more colorful. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, I stitch few colored few colors in this page not much progress on this one but I still want to show you
how beautiful it is. You know, I think um, the best part of this project is is this row because you can see all all the colors in this part. Just just so beautiful. And then I work on the and this project is a custom pattern. It's called Tommy. If you have, if you have read a uh, John Jindo's comic, and you, you know about this character. <laughs> yeah, and I want to, I don't know, and I want to stitch her. So I choose this photo, and get a chart. But um, yeah, this is my progress so far. I still stitch in the background. Um, I don't know when I will get to her face. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, yeah, I'm still stitching it. The background is pretty, but yeah, I hope I can show you her face soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not much progress either. <laughs> Uh, I love the colors. You see the orange and the pink. Uh, it's still um, it's still a big block of a background to go because I remember her face, her head will be here. Yeah, so it's gonna take a while. And this is the fourteen count Ada. Yeah, so then the full coverage. And the next thing is also full coverage. And it's called Castle Cutaway from Artsy. I guess thank Lisa for suggesting me to use Pattern Keeper again. Yeah, it's uh, really so much easier to work on those full coverage projects. Now and uh, yeah, including this one, and just show you. Yeah, you can see this um, archer already. Yeah, it's so pretty, and this is a forty count Malo linen, and I do it with two strands, two over two half stitches, because. Uh, no, it really stitches more faster with half stitches. And so beautiful. And this project has 100 colors. I do it uh, with both uh, cross country and uh, parking method. I do cross country the entire page and I park to the next page. Actually, I I can stop uh, using parking, but I want to see how beautiful you would look like if I finish entire entire uh, top row page, and I want to see all the thread hang over the fabric. How beautiful that would be! So I will keep using this way. But yeah. So last two months I was stitching um, the uh, these two ten by ten square column, and uh, this row this column hasn't finished yet. And it's also a large one. Uh, I remember, um, yeah, I gotta see how big is it. Yeah, 
is 950 by 679 stitches. Yes, yeah, it's also a large one. And next project I worked on so far on Artsy is Field of Santorini. I love this picture so much because um, I always want to travel to Santorini. And this project is 300 by 213 stitches. I stitch on 14 count Ada. Yeah, so it's um 21 and a half by 15 and a half inches. In March and April, I have been I have been stitching the, the third page and I almost finished this page and this part is completely and it has a lot of colors in this part and every color is like just have a um, few stitches and it's like a one stitch here, one stitch there, one stitch here, one stitch there so if you watch the stitch uh, if you watch the stitch with me video of this project, you will see me just stitch here and then jump to here and then jump just jump everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but it's so much fun, you know. I, I like working on this one. And it's fun that um, when you stitch it, you will feel um, you will feel why this color is next to this color because. You look across um, those colors doesn't match at all, but but uh, you look at like you look at the whole thing, you will feel it make more sense. It it's like a um, mosaic, you know, just slowly, um, the picture just slowly coming together. So it's very satisfying to see. And yeah. So this is the whole thing. Looks great and looks gorgeous. I'm very happy with it and I can't wait to you know just stitch all the part because uh, I took a lot of time to stitch the sky and the ocean. I kind of want to see more colors. The next project I worked on is my first Heaven and Earth design. And I gotta say, I really, really love it so much. And I can totally understand why people love, yeah, love a Heaven and Earth design. So this is my Heaven and Earth design project. It's the Little Ketchup by Amy Stewart. And this is a mixed colors version. So it has 238 colors. Then I stitch it on 28 count linen. So the size will be smaller than what you say on the cover. Yes. So this is my progress. I just finished the page one and I stitch page two. And no surprisingly, uh, my progress going pretty fast. You know, I was like, um, I took like uh, two days to stitch the patch two, and this, yeah, I stitched this much. And also, um, yeah, I do like two over one half stitches. So yeah, it goes pretty fast. And you can see the details, the colors already. You know, uh, this part, this part kind of um, stressed me out because <laughs> lots of colors, but so less stitches. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of colors is like uh, only one stitch in the page. Yeah, especially in, in this part. So when I finish this part, I was just ah, finally I can get, I can stitch the 
Pudgy Tooth. <laughs> and also, uh, I changed the way to finish and the stun sway, so I do it more comfortable and just more easier to me. Usually. So I love everything of this one and I can wait to stitch more. Now every time I stitch this project I couldn't stop. <laughs> I will forget about time. Now when I real uh, realize when I notice the time it's already morning or something. <laughs> Usually I stitch at midnight and I will stitch like um four and four or five hours. But when I stitch this one, I just forget about time. And also, I, yeah, if you remember, I mentioned I bought another pattern. Have another design. It's also by M. Stewart. Yes, this one. I have been trying to ignore this pattern because I'm afraid to start right now. I, I know I have a lot of budgets going on and. If I start this one, I'm afraid I will never finish anything. But there's always a voice in my mind tell me, if you want to start it, just start it. I know you want to start it. I mean, just start it. <laughs> but I got fabric. I have a bad story yet because I'm trying to myself away from this pattern but also you will think uh, if you don't want to start it why you buy pattern now I don't know if I want to if I see a pattern I really want to stitch but I know I'm not gonna start it now or, or soon I will still want to get a pattern first because I don't know that will make me feel secure do you know what I mean just you know, I, I will know, oh, pattern is here, it will not go anywhere. I can start it anytime. But if I don't buy pattern first, I, I will feel, I don't know, I just feel insecure. <laughs> There's something with me, I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah, so I don't know, should I start it now? Maybe, maybe after a while we will see. All right, back to the update. The next project I worked on is Asian Simple from Cooler Design Studio. Yeah, it's the one I just show you in my stitch with me video and it's a pretty it's a very very beautiful symbol i gotta say it's very special very um how to say it use a lot of special technique that you don't usually see in most of most of patterns i gotta say actually so many designs from cruel design studio I like this. So they use uh, so many different techniques. And I really love this one. And I kind of afraid of stitching this because because of lost this size. I'm afraid I would make the mistakes. I haven't finished the pattern one yet. I I'm working on back stitch. Last time we stitched the, the panel one. And you can see it's really beautiful. And this fabric is 14 count cream linen. The fourth stitch is stitched with three strands. And you can see golden thread I guess this is my first time use golden thread and yeah <laughs> it 
it's really not easy. It's really not easy to to stitch with bone thread. That's it. Probably um. Okay, for some people, you probably already um get used to it. You you probably get get used to it already, but I haven't. Last time I watched Nando Ninja's video, uh, she told how she used a metallic thread. I feel, yeah, she told a great tip. Just uh, you can, you can uh, tie a knot on the metallic thread tail, so that it will not separate. I really, I think that's a really a good tip. So I will use that tip. Maybe it will make it more easier. But I. I still love it. It looks so great. So next time we will work on um I'm still working on the backstitch of um how do you say that? This dark line. So next time we will work on the backstitch of the panel one. Okay? Yeah, it's a really a beautiful sample. It's just not easy. <laughs> just nicely to work. Okay, the next project I worked on is the underwater world from Joy Sunday. So this is not a preprint. My boyfriend got me this kit, and uh, he chose the count fabric. So I got a blank fabric. So last time I stitched like a yellow orange curl and uh, this clown fish and a lobby button I love the colors it looks beautiful but I, yeah I didn't stitch a lot I just stitched here and uh, this clown fish yeah that's it and this is 14 count so I stitched with two strands and it's a full coverage issue. And the next one is just from Joey Sunday is a Mediterranean style. It's a big one, also you can see the size. It's 14 count as well. It's a preprint. But this one is partial when if you see the picture you will think maybe it's uh, for coverage but actually it's partial because this part is blank and I started from button I didn't stitch a lot either I just um, stitched a little bit like a red colors and all pink and a little bit orange oh, maybe you can yeah so it just a little bit progress but the whole canvas is pretty and actually this area is, yeah, it's a confetti too. There's lots of colors in here. So it took me a while, usually. And I also work on a little bit of this one. It's Coffee shop from Dimension. It actually is a, a small piece. It, the fabric it offers 
as it's an 18 count ADA, but it's uh, too small and also I don't really like 18 count. So I use the fabric I have. It's 14 count ADA. And I slid, uh, I stitch a little bit on this red right door. Probably um, here. Yeah. And I kind of afraid of I will run off the street because because the fabric is bigger and I use. Um, Uh, how to say it? I use more strength when I do the back stitch. No, no, when I do a half stitch because I don't uh, because I want it to because I want to get a better coverage. So in the half stitch part, I end I add one more strand in there, just like a if an uh, instruction say. This color gotta use three strands, and I will use four strands because this is fourteen count, not eighteen count. So I'm kind of worried I will run off of it, but I don't know. Maybe not. Just we will see. And oh, let me take a break. <laughs> Okay, you know, I, before I got my first uh, Heaven Earth Day site, I didn't look up their website. But a few days ago, I looked up all the patterns and I created my wish list. Now, mm, not a lot, I can say just a few of them. So, I want to show you my Heaven Earth Day site wish list. Just take a little break. Those are patterns I want to get. What do you think? No, I just feel they are so pretty. I want to stitch them all. I think I will get this one. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay. Another dimensions project I work on is Cafe by the Sea. I got this like a Time, yes, it's pretty long time ago, like three or four years ago. But I haven't finished it. <laughs> I don't stitch this one really often. And but anyway, this one is um yeah, fourteen count white anna, eighteen by fourteen inches. Last time in my video, you see I stitch yeah, this part. Um, I actually stitch these flowers, this, uh, this uh, brush. 
Ela disse push, push, <laughs> push, push. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just this part and then this lamp. And uh, this guy. Yeah. I could stitch it more actually, but somehow I just didn't feel like to. Because I think uh, I have a stitch on this one for a long time. That's why I, yeah, I just make a little bit progress on them and film videos. I just stitch it more because it's a beautiful one. Next one is also the old project. It's Ocean ABC from Wait. Oh, where? <laughs> from oh, Design Works Craft. I have a stitch one for a long time either. And Last time I just stitched a little bit of the alphabet D. It, you can see actually it's dolphin. I I stitched a little bit of tail. I think I will finish this um this panel this month. I probably will do a time lapse video. Oh yeah. yeah. Probably not because uh, last time when I stitched it, I tried to I tried to make a time lapse, but it's um I have problem to show the whole panel on camera, so that's why I decided to stitch um stitch the dolphin's tail um like until uh, wait a minute. Yeah, my idea is when I get to here and then I will film the stitch with me to stitch this part. Yeah. And this February is 14 count, Ada, of course. And next one is Dragon of Sumatra from Ink Circles. The beautiful sampler. I love the yeah, I love the photo. And I, I haven't made any progress since the last time. I'm still working on the border but I love this color so much I choose the thread uh, DMC 4212 very good thread it's very beautiful and this fabric is um, this fabric is I stick label on this because I know I will forget. <laughs> yeah, it's 36 count antique ivory Edinburgh linen. And I really can't wait to see how those cards work on those dragons. It will be very, very beautiful, I believe. And yeah, it, this turned out really great. I'm so happy with it. Okay, the next thing I worked on is. It's Secret Garden from Showcraft. It's a Taiwanese cross stitch brand. And it's um, 9 half by 13 inches. And also, it's um, 28 count. Probably in this fabric, probably is even wave. It's 
some kind of an even wave. I'm sure it's not linen. Um, when the first time I showed this project, I told you the fabric is linen, but actually it's not. But I still, I'm still not sure what kind of fabric it is. Probably, I don't know, just some kind of even wave. <laughs> And I walk on, um, yeah, I walk on these trees and uh, this, this uh, background, yeah. The background is uh, half stitches, so it creates a beautiful, you know, like watercolors. Walk color style, I really love it. And also, I stitch a little bit of backstitch with this grass. Yeah. All right, the last one. Ah, I'm so tired. <laughs> the last one, I love it so much. It's final one of a bit from Rosewood Manor. No, it's a gorgeous sample. No, when the first time I saw this image, I just, I just, no, I'm gonna stitch. But I just work on it a little bit. Mm. This sampler is like um, about 500 by 500 stitches. Um, uh, um, 30, uh, 36 count, even with. It's a huge one. Yeah, it's gonna be the huge one. I just stitched this a little bit because last time I was working on the another set of alphabet, which is also half uh, no no back stitches. But when I finished the whole set of alphabet, I realized I miscount. So I frog it off. And then I just think maybe I should stop working on this one. No, no, just like a, take a little break from this. Yeah. So the only thing I stitch since since the uh, stitch with me video is this little motif. But I will keep working on it because I really enjoy this one. It's an interesting one. So many things in this pattern. I really love this so much. So that's all my webs in March and April. You know, I feel like I should uh, work on those old projects again because I kind of stopped working on it for, for so long because I I'm distracted by lots of new projects and uh, I'm, there's still so many things I want to get <laughs> all right hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for joining me hope you have a good time staging and I will see you next time stay safe stay healthy and happy stitching bye